back again. This is the day after, or the morning after. Uh, morning after the Ned Rig videos. Come back to the same spot, obviously. Uh, my idea is to fish this for half an hour or so, see what happens. And then have a little explore, see if there's any more fish anywhere else. Uh, so let's, let's crack on. We know it worked last time, so we'll stick to it. Might try a few more things later. about to say I've had a couple of tiny plucks and that's it and the fish are not here in numbers still early doors early, early morning they could be they could be spread out searching that's a nice fish happy with that I don't expect to catch as many fish in this spot but that's a nice start it's taken me a good 10 minutes to catch that one though, as opposed to yesterday where I was bagging up straight away. So I'll keep working for a bit. And then I'll, uh, I'll have a look round and see what I can find. Right, so I've now moved. I'm pretty confident that that bridge spot's not, not the one to be on at this moment in time anyway. I either caught them all yesterday and they've all remembered. Well, they're not there. It is early doors, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a bit more searching. Try and search some fish. I'm gonna put a little crank on, I think. So a little cast about, see if I can see I get a few follows of something chasing. Let's try and find some fish. See if I can find something. So I was searching with cranks, not, didn't see a follow, and I thought, well, my Ned Rig were working, so why not switch back to it? So I've just gone back over a couple of the spots. And I did cast this one to the far side. Got a nice fish. So 
I'll give that another go over there, see if there's uh, any more. Another little bonny fish. That was a little bit closer in. Seems like it's a bit more hard work today. I did put them in my net, but um, banked a little bit higher up this time in, in my nets. It's not really got enough water for them, so I just chucked them back. I don't think it's going to spook a shoal because there's no shoal of fish, so it's just odds. Odds and tods in it, but and that was straight away on, on the far side. Again, nice fish, really stocky little, little thing. Really nice. What I might do is. Uh, I'm casting to a far bank and catching at that side and then having to wind it all the way back across so I might actually swap banks bridge what I was fishing under before I was on the way so I'm going to cross over and that might make it a bit easier if I do get on a shoal that I mean I catch fish a lot quicker I won't lose as many dropping off at distance and where they've been taken just now they might actually be at that side so that's what I'm going to do Just here, I think we're just on this bit, so Big one following it. So, not a massive, but it was a pounder. And this is usually a case. Said, you saw me there. I just held onto that first perch a little bit longer because I saw this fish. I didn't want to spook it. I can't use my net because it's a little bit a little bit higher banking, but it's not a massive fish, but it's a bonny fish. Um, the perfect kind of fish that you want to catch. You catch these perch, they're just awesome fun. A little bit harder today, today but that's a bonny fish. So I actually think the best part of actually swapping sides there was the fact that um, I saw that second fish. If I'd been fishing from the far side, I want to, I want to see that second fish follow. And then of course I just chucked it back in straight away and caught it. So little things like that can make a, a big difference.
Another nice fish. This is a bonny fish. Steady, steady, steady. This is a bonny fish. Another chunky one. <laughs> really nice fish. So it didn't really matter about searching as long as I run. Once I get to the fish, Ned Rig's doing it. Quick photo for Facebook. Come on camera. Can't see with my glasses on. Steady, steady, steady. Again, that's right below my feet. Eagle eye, you'll notice I've just got a different jig head, it's, it's a brighter one. So I think they're a little bit lighter, I'm not sure to be honest, but uh, it just feels a little bit lighter, but it might help. Water's pretty clear to be honest, it's not crystal clear, but it's, it's pretty clear, you can see down three foot easy. So it'll help. Help get a bit of tension, but I don't really think I need it, it's working in whatever way. So we'll take him right below him here. See if there's any more decent ones in. The only worry is if I've spooked them, releasing the fish. I did release one of them up there, like, but that's my only worry is that I might have spooked them. Minter. It's a perfect, perfect perch. Seems to be a few just here, had a couple of missed. A little knot. And that one so. Keep searching. I'm not casting right to the other side, there's no need to cast it right over the side of the bank. I'm going to cast in just in front of where I think the fish are, working it through there. I don't want to catch on the far bank and then bring it across. I can fish the far bank afterwards. Yep, we found them. We found the fish. Let go. Yes. He has found the fish. Oh. Casting like a nutter. Oh. Wire trace. Just in case pike, I know there's pike in here. I've got pike on, on Ned Rig. Wire trace, catching perch. W why would you want to bother with fluorocarbon? I'm not sure. You can try telling me as much as you want. Oh, fluorocarbon. Perch don't like fluorocarbon. Really be taking a bit of notice of it, isn't it? So, if you are confident there's no pike, use it. But why would you want to risk losing a fish? Oh. 
TRD. And it actually does look like a turd now. So while I'm while I'm here, a bit of a summary from previous two videos. I think you remember remember saying that uh, one of the main reasons I caught I was catching was because I was on the fish. It wasn't because I was like awesome rubber piker who was the best fisherman in the world and claims to be the best fisherman in the world. I was just on them. You're not catching, you need to find them. Um, and then today kind of proves it. Same spot where I've caught yesterday. Not think I caught one fish and I struggled, but I've moved a little bit and found them, and and that's it. And I'm only I'm only what am I? 40 yards from from the spot. I've caught some fish. They might go back under the bridge later on. When the sun comes out. But if you're not catching fish, it's not necessarily so much much about that you haven't got the right law. It's not necessarily so much that you're not doing something right. The only thing you're not doing right is you're not in the right spot. Yep, finding finding laws that work, techniques that work, that is a big thing, but you need to find the fish, so. And like I say, the searching tactics for simple shad or a plug, and you get that, that initial follow of a fish, that initial pluck, you might not catch it. You know, like you see me a lot of times using a two and a half inch uh, shad. That's to get their attention. <laughs> the big fish do take them, but the smaller things do take them. These ones I've been catching, I'll take a two, two, inch, two and a half inch shad easy. But it's to get their attention. I might get a few plucks, might miss a fish, but then I know there's something there and it's worthwhile sticking at that spot. I'm fishing with a tiny, tiny morsel of plastic drop shot in and it's hardly moving anyway. I'm not covering no water, I'm not getting the attention, and I'm not finding them. I mean, look at the size of that. Just nailed it. So, if I do, you don't need to use tiny, tiny lows. You can use them tiny, tiny lows and catch wasps if you want. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? But even a even a greedy little perch like that will take a decent sized low. So use some some proper lows, proper sized lows and get finding them. Find a spot and then mess about with techniques. You saw me in the first video messing about with techniques, trying to find what worked. And, and it worked TIDs, it's TIDs that's been doing it. Ned rig. Warm, put camera on me head. Right, I'm going to leave you there for a little second. I'm going to have a little wonder about so I can find some more perch. I'll just search some of the bank. Had a couple of little plucks from some small ones. I did a little one on and off. And I sort of worked my way back and I cast under my feet where I've been catching before. And you get another little chunky fish like that, so that's where fish are. Simple as that. That is solid. That one day will be a three pound perch. Nice one. So that's to let me know how these um these few videos, if you've enjoyed these few videos, I'll, I'll, obviously a couple of them might be a little bit longer than than some of the, the older stuff, but what I thought it what I thought it shows you is uh, more of that what what I'm thinking and why I'm doing it and what I'm trying to do, whether it's right or wrong on the day, different ideas and give you different ideas to to try and make things happen. And you can see that it's not always just turn up and catch fish. Sometimes you've got to mess about trying a few things. Sometimes it is just turn up and catch fish. But I'm sure you give me some feedback on in comments below if you like this kind of thing. So if you like this kind of thing, I'll, I'll do more of it. Of course, it helps when you're catching fish. Another little stunner. Oh, 
colour of fins on them. They're just mint. Bright red. <laughs> Thank you. Boats. Every time a barge comes past, I catch a fish. They all think I'm a superstar. Nice caught fish. Well, well done. Well done. Caught fish. Again, important is that that hook. I can't tell if you can see it. Is that that hook? Protrude in quite a lot, and you get good hookups. Same with every low, every soft shad. Make sure you've got plenty of hooks sticking out. It does, it does, it does look a bit too big for you, especially if you come from the match scene and you were used to using a size 22 hook. It looks massive, but you, you, you're fishing a different way. You've got a big lump of plastic. If you're using a tiny little 22 hook, your yeah, your hook won't stick in. So. I think it's dried up here, apart from a couple of little small fish. Oh, I got smacked on far side <laughs> where I was before. Seems to be a few small fish. There's a big bunch of weed on the other side. It seems to be a few small fish there. Last cast. Okay, the last cast, I just lost a fish. That's last cast. Alright, one more fish. fish. I think that's a good way to finish the video. Beast.
about this one then? This is when you're out of sinks and you think you've caught a monster, monster perch. Not that for a bream on the Ned Rig. <laughs> Thanks the beast. My heart sank. Oh, slimy thing.